The Reverend Billy Graham, the world's best known evangelist, will be buried next Friday in North Carolina. The public may pay their respects in Charlotte on Monday and Tuesday, when his body will lie in repose. David Begno is inside the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, near the place Graham will be laid to rest. Good morning, David. Good morning, John. When you come to the library, you have to go through the cross. That's exactly how Billy Graham wanted it. You know, he hated the idea of a museum or a memorial that would honor him. But when his family pitched him on the concept of a library that would be an ongoing ministry, he warmed up to the idea. His funeral will happen here. And we're told the Reverend approved every aspect of the plan. Yes, Jesus has the answer to life's problems. Reverend Billy Graham's funeral service will be held under a tent. It's a fitting venue for someone who rose to prominence, preaching under the Canvas Cathedral in Los Angeles. That the Lord Jesus Christ can be received, your sins forgiven, your burdens lifted. Invitations to next Friday's private funeral service have been extended to President Donald Trump and all former presidents who are still alive. Barack Obama called Billy Graham a humble servant who gave hope and guidance to generations of Americans. When I touch that podium, I can feel a new strength and a new power come. Known as America's pastor, he will be buried in a casket made by prisoners. It's a pine plywood box lined with a mattress pad. Spokesman Mark DeMoss said Billy Graham died at home. No one else was with him except for a nurse. His doctor said Graham just wore out. I think we can say he passed in his sleep. It was described by uh, the nurse and his doctor as a very peaceful passing. He was not in any pain. His life was not without controversy. I told you one time that the Bible talks about two kinds of Jews. One is called the synagogue of Satan. A taped phone call between him and President Nixon drew criticism from the Jewish community. His ministry also supported a ballot measure banning gay marriage in 2012. While his views were controversial, Televangelist Joel Osteen calls him a hero. Growing up as a little boy, coming from a preacher's kid, you know, we watched him on television, and so he was somebody that we always looked up to and admired. Billy Graham will also be buried here on the library property, right alongside his wife, Ruth. She's buried here. The grave is very simple, but this is where the Reverend will go. Nora Franklin Graham says he asked his father, Daddy, what do you want on your tombstone? And Billy Graham had a one-word answer, preacher. Wow, love hearing about all those details. David, thank you so much.